certainly one of the top contenders for the most prestigious title in professional wrestling. Of course, I'm talking about the NWA's World Heavyweight title, having come within a hair's breadth on two occasions of becoming that champion. Now, against all odds, the huge pay-per-view event on February 13th, you'll be stepping in with a partner named Diamond Dallas Page to take on one of the greatest heavyweights in the history of our business. I'm talking about Scott Hall and the bad boy of Team Canada, Bobby Roode. Listen to this, Shane. Before we go to the future, we must talk about the past. I haven't forgotten about Jeff Jarrett two times within a hair's breadth. Jeff Jarrett, I've taken everything you had to give and I'm still hunting. Every great athlete knows two things. You must be a survivor and you must learn from the past. I've learned from the past, Jeff. It is my destiny. I will be NWA champion. But at Against All Odds, we got Scott Hall. Scott Hall wants to talk business. Let's talk business. You want to get in my business because I gave your boys the business and then you bring Bobby Roode with you? Jay Douglas. I'm not Tom Cruise, and I'm not Dusty Rhodes, but it is risky business now. Risky business. And Bobby Roode, at Against All Odds, you and Scott Hall, I have odds that one of you two will get the power. Monty Brown made the right decision. Monty Brown made the right choice. Face the simple fact that Monty Brown wanted to stand beside a winner. When he decided to align himself with Planet Jarrett, the entire wrestling world is his for the taking. So without further ado, because I know you people want to hear from me, I want to introduce to you my personal friend, a man who I have always respected, admired, and held in a very high regard. A two-time Super Bowl participant. The ruler of the Serengeti. The alpha male, Monty Brown. A man who made a deal with the devil, a pact with the devil, a man that was willing to do anything to further himself in this company, and I'm anxious to hear why he would even align himself with the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Jeff Jarrett. Talking about. Oh. And to hear Jeff Jarrett tell how he always respected And will continue to sell out. You sold out. I have to do this one more time, Jeff. One more time. Giving you the opportunity and let me take the opportunity to shake the hand of the man who shook the world. <laughs> We shook the world, and now that the world has been shaken, it's time for us three to take the world over. I hear you. You sold out. You sold out. You're not politically correct. That's not right. My little baby was crying. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to do what I want to do in here with Jeff, with the outlaw, and Dustin Rhodes. You can't stop it either. If I will, I will do what I want. And if all of you people in here don't like it, if you don't like it, don't talk about it. Be about it. We are about it. And tonight and forevermore, you're looking at the three individuals who are taking it to another level. And we, and we will pass the world. Now feel that.
I've been doing this for the past few years. I've always found you to be a very stand-up guy. Emotional, yet very honest. But the question that I've been wanting to ask you for weeks, what went through your mind when you joined forces with Jeff Jarrett back at Destination yeah, 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 X? Yeah, Mike, yeah, Mike, whatever. First of all, I'm still a stand-up guy. That hasn't changed. I'm still honest. The only thing now is I'm going to be more honest with you. You want to know what went through my mind? Why don't you ask your boy Diamond Dallas Page what went through his mind? I'll tell you, 265 pounds of alpha male went straight through his mind at Destination X, and you loved it. Yeah, the video footage that I cannot get out of my mind is that post-match celebration with you and Jarrett, the handshake of all things don't between you it. two. But you know the big question, the one I have to ask. You owe me one. What does Jeff Jarrett owe you? First of all, I don't have to answer to you anything, okay? That's for starters, Mike. Don't get cute out here. You might get slapped up. Then, as far as me and Jeff go, the only thing that he owes me, the only thing that I'm going to show him back is something that two champions have mutual respect for one another. It's about choice and it's about chance. What do I do, sit around and take a chance on maybe somebody giving me a title shot, maybe somebody doing this for me, maybe somebody pushing Monty Brown. I messed up your pay-per-view. I'm gonna do what I want to around here, why? Because I can. And this is just the start, Mike. I'm doing big things. Monty Brown, the alpha male, I'm doing big things in this business and it starts with the respect that I'm gonna get here and I'm gonna demand and get from you. What's it gonna be like at lockdown? Sunday, April the 24th when we see you and Jeff Jarrett and the Outlaw join forces against Kevin Nash, Sean Waltman, and Diamond Dallas Page. Lockdown, I got two words. Survival and pain. Kevin Nash will feel a lot of pain. Sean Waltman is going to get a lot of pain. And if DDP thought that was painful, that pounce that he got at Destination X, wait until lockdown because we will survive. That's what we do, okay? The outlaw, Jeff Jarrett, and Monty Brown, the alpha male at lockdown will be like Pee Wee Herman in the movie theater. We will hold our own.